Hi and welcome to this SharePoint Search Quick Tip. My name is Robert Piddock and today I'll be telling you about how to map managed metadata refiners in Ontolica for SharePoint 2013. It's a little bit different this time. Normally we talk about base SharePoint Search uh, Quick Tips, but sometimes we like to share a, kind of the key features, some of the unique ways to do things in Ontolica. We, as you may know, have a video out there already about how to map managed metadata refiners in Sh Ontolica for SharePoint 2010. So we thought we'd come and show you how to do it in 2013 because it is a little bit different. We've uh, harnessed some of the power of SharePoint 2013 and really simplified the way managed metadata refiners are added to SharePoint. So um, there are a few steps. Of course, you ha you need to have a managed metadata column in uh, SharePoint uh, and some terms in the term store to map there. And that managed metadata column needs to be uh, indexed. So basically, you could just do a crawl and that content or that new column and the managed metadata in it will be picked up. There are a few steps you have to do beyond that though. Um, first of all, you have to go to the search schema and the search service application and map that man or open that managed property that's already created, automatically created by SharePoint 2013. Super cool. But you need to set the re refiner to active because the properties that are automatically generated are not by default set to be refinable. So you need to set that in the search schema. Then do a full another crawl. It doesn't need to be full. You can do an incremental crawl at that point, and then the refiners will be available for Ontolica. Then you need to go into the Ontolica search tabs, add a refiner, give it a name, set it as a managed property, and then um, it'll automatically appear like magic. So let's just jump to my um, automatic. Here's my contact details a little bit later if you need to look at them. But uh, let's jump to my uh, live demo and I'll show you how to do it. So we'll just jump over here. So here I have a document library, finance I call it, and I've got a managed metadata column here called contract types. And these all come from the term store, uh, these different available terms. So I have recrawled here and I'll, I'm in the search service application. I won't show you how to navigate there. I think you can find it. And I'll go to search schema. If I search for contract now, I can automatically find the only property that exists that has contract type in it. Maybe it'll be more complicated for you to find. But you can find the automatically generated managed property there. You can see here, by default, it is not set to be refinable. It is set to be retrieve, retrievable and searchable but not refinable. So we want to set that as active. You can also see that in, in case you have a number of different properties that you've created or that are, are crawled, um, this one is called OWS Tax ID and then the name of that column. So I'll just click on it to open it up. This is a little slow in my environment. I'll scroll down to where it says refinable and I'll set that to yes active. I'll hit OK and then I'll perform an incremental crawl. So to go to the content sources, I'll find my SharePoint sites. Oh, seems to already be crawling at this point, incremental, so I have to wait for that one to crawl and then crawl. Um, I'll just pause this and then I'll get back to you when the crawl is completed. OK, so our crawl is now finished. Let's go back to our site and create our refiner. So you can see here if I'll do a search for company, that's one of the items in this list. Open up my result page. My refiner is here on the left, but no contract type. So we'll go to the Ontolica search tabs setting, which is here. Now one thing I like to note is that there is a hierarchy here and the hierarchy respects the SharePoint hierarchy 
which means that if you make the setting at a higher level, it'll trickle down to the lower level sites. But you can actually make settings at lower levels that only affect the search center for those sites. So choose the level that you want to uh, make the setting at. I usually make the settings at the highest level that I want. We're getting this error because we're trying to access a level which is um, which is trying to access the farm without uh, proper credentials, but please just ignore that. We're okay at the web application level. Uh, maybe I'll go to the demo home level and throw that error. It is because it's trying to pull information through from the f central admin that we're not allowed to see at the farm level. So it's even though it says unexpected error, it is expected actually. So anyways, we're here now at the demo home level and we want to add our refiner properties here and we want to add a refiner for contract type. So I'll just add that property, give it the name contract type. You can see if you the cursor starts in the name area and if I start typing it'll automatically give us a unique ID. Make sure that this Manage Metadata Refiner checkbox is checked. And then try find the property that we made the Refiner active, active on. So that'll be OWS I, Tax ID Contract Type. There it is. We can use con Contains or we can use Equals. Contains is the preferred and the default operator here because then it'll show us in the hierarchy of the Managed Metadata um, all of the items that are below it. But if we use equals, it'll, it will only give us the numbers for that level exactly. So I would use contains and then just hit OK. Now we'll go back to our search center. doesn't really matter which one. I think we were in oil and gas or were we in finance before. And Oh, I actually want to go to the finance site, to the Ontolica search site, and then I will try my search for company. Maybe this was the wrong site. I think I was in the wrong level. My apologies. I will go back up to the top level and do the search because I know I did make the settings at the top level. Here we go. So search for company. Okay, so the page is loading. And if I look here on the left, I should be able to see now my contract type refiner. Ah, and there it is. Ah, and I can see from the hierarchy that the contract type refiner is actually in the legal uh, managed metadata term set. And under that, it's contracts. And then I can see there are five items sales agreements, two of non-compete arguments, or agreements, sorry, partnership agreements, non-disclosure. So several different refiners here. I can actually see there's one more if I expand. So if I go there, I can dig into it and actually see which document library they came from. I was in the, fi uh, the oil and gas section, under the finance section of the oil and gas uh, section for that. So um, that was nice and it you can see that it works very well, that it's actually nested and um, will show me the, the hierarchy of the term set and I, so I can dig into really complex term sets and actually get into the documents if there are many across the site. So it's very quite, uh, straightforward this time. It's much simpler than it was in 2010 and um, works very well. So a big improvement, I think, over the last one and I hope it all works for you. So. This was a SharePoint quick tip, and uh, I'm Robert Pittock. Please feel free to reach out if you need extra help. Bye now.